Hello, guys. <coughs> Hello. 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 Glad to see you guys. <clears throat> All right, it's two minutes and remain, right? So, yes, yes. So you're getting better, Sally? Is it? You're getting better. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling better. I will go there tomorrow, but tomorrow I don't have class, so it's okay. <laughs> All right, I think it's about time to begin class, all right? <sighs> so as you can see right here is uh, what's, what we are going to make the, the modeling right here. The first one, the first one is the, uh, the work we didn't finish at last class, right? And we, we made a popping at last class. You remember to by use the swap service right and if some of you have the question about it and you can you can watch the record and right and for this one here is the uh, it's made it by the swap surface right here. it's what we're going to to uh, design for this class right and this one here is uh, another part will work we we need to learn about in this class all right in today's class it's a it's made by lots of different parts see that and uh, we use the assembly assembly to to assemble the things right here so today, today we got two parts of lesson to learn right the first one is the Mm, the review of the last class, all right? It's a little practice. It's, it's by using the by using the web service, all right? So we begin at the first part, this one here, all right? It's um, okay. we can see it's a spare 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 ring right here. It's like a spare ring, right? So how do you make this one? We just close this first, all right? How do you make this one right here? It's quite easy. It's it's not that difficult as you see, right? It's quite easy. So everybody just follow me to do that. All right. Oh. Okay, Lord. Okay. So we build a new part. Part right here. Okay, it's part right here. Um, we are going to learn the assemble at later. All right. We build a part right here, and see. We choose the uh, the upper upper view upper view right here the upper view okay the upper okay. view are right here and we just make a make a circle make a circle see that yes and the circle which is from the the origin point yeah origin point and let's make a circle and then we make a dimensional. Okay, to make it underdefined, oh, all right, fully defined. Um, define is 30, 30, okay, the radio is 50. And we got a circle, right, it's quite easy. Now, uh, do you remember that we, we just want to make the swap surface right here, we need to make, we, we would better to make different sketches for different parts, right? So we make another sketch right here, right? We make another sketch, which is based on the, uh, we change the wheel, right? Change the wheel, and we, should, we choose the front wheel of it, all right? In the front wheel. So that in the front wheel, 
the circle become a line because it's a different view, right? Yes. And here we make another sketch, okay? And we choose a line to make a sketch, right? The first one, the first one line, that's not a center line, just a line, okay? And this line here, we need to just at the, at the same you? plan, yeah? I'm sorry to disturb you, but like, what's the diameter of the circle, please? The measure of the circle is 30, 30, all right? Thank the radius is thank 15. You. All right, thank you, Lodge. Am I too quick to did that get a little bit slow down? Okay, no problem. All right, so, so if you didn't finish that, I, I, I just quit this one and uh, wait for you down this one right here. Circle right here, it's quite easy, right? Yeah, very easy. And that circle's radius, the radius is 15 and the phi is 30, right? Yes, okay. right. And if, when you finish this one, circle I'm right done. Here. We can go. Okay. okay. We we'll make a new sketch, right. which is based on the front view, front view, right here, the front view. All right. So you can see yeah. that the circle become a line in the front view, right? Yes. Just different views. And right here, we use the, we make a new sketch by using the line right here, okay? Use the line. Yeah. And we can just uh, build this line at the same plan, right? Same plan right here with, with this circle line right here. See that? Yeah. This is circle line right here. And just the same, same line right here to make it get along. And Press ESC to end the sketch right here, all right? I right, and you can see that this line, I want to make it close to the circle right here. So I choose this line right here and hold your, hold your control key on your keyboard, all right? Yes. And select this one, the circle right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Just Set this point right here. Sorry about that. Select the point of the this line right here. Okay. Select this point and hold your control button on the keyboard to select this circle. So you can see we can add the relations, right? Yes. To make them ears. Okay. Yes. So the line is close to the to, to the circle. See that? Yeah. In different view, you can see that, right? And just, yeah, I don't know why I cannot put the line, Laoshi. Put a line, you After have to line. Front. Exit the sketch, the front, the front plan. All right, if you, if you want to put the line, you have you done a circle thing right here? Yes, okay, you just, you just look at the front surface and if you do not sketch, okay. Look at front mm -hmm. surface, no motif, all right? And yes. press the sketch right here. Press the sketch right here, okay? Good. And you just put a line. Put the line right here. And which is at the same plan of the, as this circle line right here, all right? Mm -hmm that you can just draw, draw a line, which is at the same plan of this circle line. You see that? Yes, Laoshi. Yeah, and we select this point of, this, of the line right here, this point, this point. And then uh, hold your control button on, on the keyboard, all right? Hold the control button on the keyboard and select this circle line. <laughs> So you, you select this point and the circle line right here. That, and you just select add the relation here to make them close. Good. Yeah. All right. And make the dimension for the for the line right here. Okay. Dimension of the line, the length of the line is five. It's five. Okay, it's five. And we down the sketch. All right. So here we got two sketches. 
the one, the first sketch is for the circle right here, and the second sketch is for the line, which is here to the circle. Okay. Yes. All right. So now we're going to use this web surface right here. For, the, for here, uh, for here we got a sketch four right here. It's this, it's this line, right? Building up here, the sketch four right here, uh, just like this. If it's empty right here, you just choose the line, okay? Yes. And for this, for this one here, the path. All right, the path is for the circle. So, so you got the ring, the the ring like this right now. You got it. Um, hold on a sec, please. All right, Laoshi, can you repeat that cycle again, please? Okay, I repeat this. I repeat this surface, this web surface. Okay, so yeah. you choose the web surface right here, and if it's empty right here, so make sure it's empty. If it is not empty, just clear the set selections. Okay, uh, so just like uh, if I choose this one here. And use the swap surface. It will show the sketch force right here, right? So you can mm. just delete this, delete this thing, okay? Delete. And you choose a you choose this line right here, okay? Because I don't know uh, what did you choose before that. So just click it and delete it, okay? And choose this line right here for the first one, the profile right here, all right? And the second one, the path right here, you choose the circle. Good. And Ashik, okay. Yeah. When I when I choose the first one, mm -hmm. some it, it kind of shows a menu, not doesn't select it. When you choose first one, what? When I choose the first one, it shows a menu. Like it selects a menu, not uh all right. So you, you make sure it so make sure it's empty. So delete these things. Oh Laji, please yep. this this swept surface. My mine is okay. I th I think I know why. I, I don't have a swept surface, so I need to find it. Sorry. Alright, it's swept surface right here. Okay, swept surface. I I need to enable my surfaces first so that okay. I can get it. So you first you got the surface right here, right? The surface function right here. I don't have it right there. I need to enable it first. So you know how to get it out, surface function. Yes. If you don't have the surface function right here, just right click, right click. I got it. I got it. Okay. And and you just set the paths right here and here the surface. See that? Yes. Yes. It's working now. It's working. Okay. It's working. Okay. That's good. All right. So first one, select the line, and the second one, select this circle. Okay. Yeah. Quite easy, I think. Yeah. Quite All easy. right. So now you got the ring, but it's not what I want, right? I want a yes. um, spare ring. Okay. So what are we gonna do? We just right click on here, and see that the edit feature, edit yes. feature, edit feature. All right. Yeah. And here we got the. Uh, Options, set the options right here. Yeah. The options right here. And the first one is for the pass. It's okay. All right. And the mm. profile twist is what we're we going to use. And select the spec specify twist value. Okay. It's a specify mm. twist value right here. And here's the twist control. We want mm. to control it by the revolutions. Okay. Okay. Control it by revolutions. And here we enter the revolution's number, which is, let me see, which is 25. So you got, you have this spare rail things right here, but it's not spare rail ring, all right? It's just a uh, spare rail thing. <laughs> I don't know how to describe yes. it. Yes. <laughs> okay. And just uh, select a merge, a merge tangent phase, okay? The merge tangent mm -hmm. phase to make sure they become one part, all right? Okay. And click OK right here. So we got this, we got this fair racing right here, okay? But it's still what it's not know what we want, right? It just swear. I don't know what, what this is. So 
we use the swap surface again, okay? Just the swap surface again. Swap the this surface, this circle swap here, okay? How do you, how do, you do that? Let me show you. We click the swap surface, and this time we just select a circular profile. See that? Yes. So now we are selecting the sketch profile. So we, we change it to the circular profile, okay? Yeah. The circular profile. And we just select this ring lines or this circle lines. You see that? It will yeah. show it will become to orange, right? Color will become to orange and it's just like this. So it's quite big. So we change the, the dimension of the circular, right? Dimension mm -hmm. is, mm, let me see. Dimension is, is two. Let's see what we've got, okay? Click OK. okay. Right. See? Wow. It's quite more like spare ray ring, right? Spare ray ring. Mm. So, but, it's, but here we can see it's just some fake surface right here. Uh, yeah. We just hide it. It's okay, right? Hide it. So, how to hide it? Just select the, surf the first one surface right here. And here is a hide thing. See that? It's a hide function. Hide. Yeah. So now we got the spare river. Yeah. Quite easy. Yes, it's quite easy, right? Yeah. And if you want to change the dimension of it, it uh, looks like the dimension is a little bit big. So we need to just select here, it's a triangle right here, and we can change the sketch four, right? Sketch four, we just add sketch. And change. So double click on the dimension we've set and change it to about three, okay? Yeah. So, and end sketch, okay? It's end sketch. So it's look, uh, it's look at normal right now, right? Yeah. Look at them. All right. This is, the, I guess this is a uh, swap thing we have learned about at the last class. All right? Yeah. So I think sadly you, you got that. Yeah, How about other, other students? How about other students? Have you have you finished like this? Spare ring? It's quite easy to to make it out. Yes, no, she oh great. Really good. All right. So you just finish this. Okay. And for today's class, you can uh, you can just save this thing. Save this thing. It's not it's not that beautiful. But I think you just can you can just change the appearance of it, right? If you don't yeah. um here we can I want to say is you can change the material, the material right here. So you can change the uh the appearance of it. So right click, do you have guys see the material right here? Yes. Okay. Just right click on it and add edit the material okay edit the material so it will show it will show different materials such as solid materials such as the steel iron and some woods and rubbers silicons and choose this one for maybe if you want to look the appearance for preview you can just click the appearance right here okay okay oh. And you just select one, what we want, what, what you want, whatever you want, all right? For okay. example, uh, just like this hawk right here, the hawk right here in the woods, all right? And it's like apply. That it yeah. changed, but it's not that real, right? So you can yeah. just maybe, it maybe it's, we need to refresh it to make it look good. So we should, we, Press the hide all time. And see that it become real. The material become um you can see the the details of the materials. See that? Just press the show all types. Alright? To, to change the appearance of this thing you built. Okay. Logic? Yeah. Um on 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 changing the 
I'm changing the dimension. Please, can you show me that again? All right, you want to yeah. know how to change the dimension, right? Yeah. So okay. the first sketch. Here is the here is a triangle right here. See that? Just click yeah, triangle. Yeah. It will show the sketches. It will show the sketch you make. Yeah, choose the first sketch right here, the sketch okay. right here, okay? And add the sketch to change the yes. dimension. See that? Here you can see yeah. the dimension. And double click yeah. on it, all right? Double click on the dimension you make. So you can change like two or, or five, it's okay, okay? Yeah, and actually, thank you. Click close the dialog. And here you end sketch. So the dimension will be changed. Okay. All right. So here you just want to refresh it. So just click the hide all types. It will be it will refresh. See, and you can see the details. Okay. I think it's yeah. When I edit <laughs> my sketch, the rings become bigger instead of the hole in for inside the ring. Oh. So I should use a smaller. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I get it. Sorry. So so it's two sketch right here, right? Yeah. Uh, the one is for the the one is for the the line, oh, yeah. and another yeah. one is for the circle. Circle. Yeah. So you just make sure that you what you want to change the dimension is is circle the line. It depends on you, right? Yes, yeah, nice. Okay. I hope you guys have uh have got this got this things right here. Okay, and yes, here we gotta end this, this part. We gotta end this part. All right, just close. And if you want to save it, just save it. All right. So for yes, me, yes. I don't want to save it. Okay. So for today's class, we are going to learn a new thing, right? Yes. That's a, that's just one mark for our class. All right. So for today's class, let's come to the new things right here. It's assembly. It's oh. a three D arrangement of the part and all the others assemblies. So, uh, what we got to do is. Let me show you, okay? What we got to make is this thing right here. It's a ball bearing, right? Yes. In mechanical engineering, it's ball bearing. And I think you get, so all of you guys have seen it before. Yeah. And see that it can move, it can, and just roll in the, in the middle. And this bowls can, can revolve, all right? So how to make this part? How to make this things? This thing right here, you can see that it includes bow rack and the bow and the inner ring right here. This this is okay. Let me show you. The outer one is the outer ring, right? The outer ring right here, and the inner one is the inner ring right here. It's quite easy. And to and and between these two rings, here are, here. Are, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bows, right? To connect this ring and to make sure it can it can revolve, right? Yeah. And to lock the bows between the inner ring and the outer ring, here is the bow racks. So that mm. is two bow racks right here. The bow racks is have two layers. Wraps right here, okay, to lock the bows. And here is a little thing right here, which is the uh, the rivet. There, yeah, it's a rivet mm. to lock the two bow racks, right? Yeah, so this is the assembly thing. Mm, and today, I'm going to tell you how to use the assembly, but before that, we're going to uh, make this parts right here, right. The, the outer ring, inner ring, the bows, and the bow rack, and of course about, and of course the, the rivet, right? We need to build the parts first, and it's going to be mixed in assembly, right? So let's build the parts first. And believe me, and this parts of work we design is what we have learned already, all right? We have all learned about it. So let's go to make the pass right now, okay? Yes, so right. everybody follow me to do that. I, I really, uh, it's really important for you to make the different parts right. 
make yeah. sure you can assemble them, right? If you uh if you just make some uh some wrong dimension or just something incorrect, it not it will not assemble it successfully, right? Because nice. different parts of things um you need to make them assemble. It will it need to make sure the dimension are perfectly matched, right? So everybody yes. follow me and really pay some pay attention to it. All right. Okay. The first part I want to build right here is the outer ring. All right, the outer ring right here. So let everybody come follow me to build the first part. All right. Okay. The outer ring, the outer ring right here is quite easy. And so first we choose the front wheel. All right, the front wheel right here, and zoom in. And uh, and normal to it, okay, normal to it, and make the sketch. And what we got to draw at first is use a center line right here. That center line, not the line, okay, the center line right here. And from the origin, origin of origin point of the plane, okay, from the origin, and make sure is is vertical. All right, make sure it's vertical. And press ESC to end the sketch of the line, okay? The center line. And we just build a center rectangle right here, okay? So, so Eric, have you wanted me to do that? Is that yes. need I to yeah. slow down, okay? So that's good. And we just make a, a center rectangle, okay? Center rectangle based on this point. Of the center line, okay. This point of the center line. That I will do it really slow, okay. Yeah. To make sure all of you guys can follow me. And here's a rectangle right here, okay. And now we need to use the three point arc right here. That is three point arc. And just zoom it, okay. Zoom it to bigger. And from this line right here, on uh, is left of the center line, okay? From this line of here, we draw the first point. And we draw another point and right here, okay? And the same line, but at the right part, at the right of the center line, okay? Okay. And right here, just, just notice that if you put the, if you put the arc, and it will show that uh, it will show the line is not it will not good. It means you got special <coughs> specific specific dimensional. So make sure don't sh don't show the line. Say that don't show this line. Okay, just put it at the normal place. Okay, like this. Oh, she. Yeah. Can you start it from the first? From where? Uh, from the first. From first. Yes. From first. You mean from the the plan we choose, mm -hmm. okay? Yes. All right. I need you guys to focus. To really focus on the on this thing. All right. I will do this really slow. <coughs> okay. From first, right here, we choose the front front wheel. Okay. Front wheel. We we do normal to the front wheel. All right, that's the front view right here. And we make a sketch. Okay. The, we make the sketch on the front view, okay? And we choose a line, not the line, the certain line, okay? The certain line, we choose a certain line. And based on the origin, origin point, see that? If you move your mouse to the origin point, it will show the orange point, the or, orange point right here, see that? From the origin point, and to make sure the so center line is vertical. If you just move it to the vertical, it will <coughs> just the, so the software will make sure it's which vertical. If you, if you just not vertical, it's okay. Just like this, it's okay. And you just left, left click on it, and see that here is added relation to make it all vertical. Good. 
make sure it's vertical, okay? And then you go to the center, center rectangle right here. It's a center rectangle, okay? And from this point, this point of this line, okay? And now you use the three point arc, okay? Three point arc. Have you guys follow me? Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, Lashi. Yes, Lashi. Okay, okay. Yes, Lashi. Okay, three point arc right here. The first point I want you to put on the line, on this line right here, okay? It's up left of this center line, on this line. And second line, a second point you're going to put is on the same line and at a line and the right way of this line. Okay, a center line. So now you can choose uh, the radius of the of the arc, but you cannot dimensional it. All right, just make sure it's not it will not appear the line. See that here here the line, right? But we don't want it. Just make it at the normal place. Okay, and now. We just end the sketch, okay? And 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 this arc sketch. And we want to see that here is a here is a the point of the arc. This point of the arc. See that? Here's a point. Just select this point and hold your control button on the on the keyboard and select the center line. So now you so now you select this point of the arc and the center line, right? So you select two things and make sure they are coincident, okay? Make sure they coincident. That this, this arc point have come to the center line. And we just make sure that uh, it is symmetry by the center line. Good? Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, um... really good. And now no, she? we use yeah. Uh after selecting the properties it didn't show up. I I don't know why. After selecting the two points, the properties didn't show up. Okay. So from here, I mean you mean this this point right here, see that? Yes, right? Yes. Set this point and hold the control button yes. uh on the keyboard, okay? Okay. And select this center line. Yeah. That it will show the the end relations. It, uh, it didn't. Okay, maybe it didn't. Laoshi. It didn't. Why? Okay. Mm. You just did, did. you see the point right here? This point. This arc point. This point is mm -hmm. called arc. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yeah. hold your control button on the keyboard. Okay. Got it. Got it, Lashi. And. Sure enough. And select this, select this center line right here. Do that. You yes. Do this thing. The added radius, and choose the count of coincidence to make sure that they are in the same plane, right? Make sure yes, this arc is symmetry by this center line. Okay. And now we use the trim entirety, okay? Use the trim entirety to cut this line right here. And this line right here. That to cut this two yeah. line right here. Okay. So that's good, I think. And now we need to mix dimension of this shape. Okay. So we just choose the smart dimension. Mm -hmm. And the first dimension right here is the the length, the length of this the rectangle, I think, I think. From here, uh, for here, the length is 31, all right, 31. And good, 31. Yes. And we make another dimension, mm, just for the, 
for this point right here, this point, see that is the arc point, arc point. This point right here. To uh to this line, to this line right here. The distance is eight. So Actually, to, to the point of the line, right? Or just no, to the line. I just show you again, okay? Right. Smart dimension for this point. This point is the arc point. It's the arc point, okay? The arc point right here. See that arc point. Yes. On the on the center line, okay? The arc point. And to this line, to this line right here. The bottom yeah. of this rectangle. All right. Distance is eight. Okay. That's right. All right. And another thing is for this for this radio of this arc. This radio of this arc is twelve. It's twelve. Good. I will wait for a second. Oh, good. Good. Okay. It's not showing. How did you get the radius? I didn't mm -hmm. get. Some some problems. Repeat, please. Okay, repeat. The first dimension is right is right here. It's the point. It's a po point of this arc. See that the point of the arc. If you move, uh, move your mouse on the center line, and you will find see that it's a little point of the arc. This point of the arc to this line right here, the distance should be eight, okay, eight. And the radius of the arc, the radius of the arc is 12. Good? Actually, the radius is not yeah, up here. I don't know. Hmm? My, my radius is not up here. I the click on the arc. Yeah, I don't find it. I don't see the radio. Uh, let me see. All right, so you, you just finish this one, right? This one here, the eight. Okay. <coughs> so you just <coughs> select the smart dimension again. I think you okay. will show. And move to the arc. Move to the arc, okay? And click okay. it. We will show, I think. Do you show? Mm. It didn't, but I'm 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 working on it. Okay. It didn't. Maybe you have already defined it. Maybe you have okay, already it defined did. It. it. Did not. It did. It did. It did. Okay. So That's very really good. All right. Yeah. So the arc dimension is twelve, and the third one, and use the smart dimension again. Okay. And third one here, uh, to make sure if you want to make a dimension line, so just press it. And if you press it like this, it will not give a dimension. If you press it like this, it becomes dark. You can, so now you can make a dimension, okay? And for this one here uh, is the, this line, okay? This line is the origin point, the distance, all right? For this line here and to the origin point. Right here, distance is, is 53. History, okay. And for this line right here, this line right here, the top top line of this rectangle, okay, to the origin point, which is fifty-five. Okay. And I will will wait for you guys to finish this, this dimensions. If you're down, just oh, down. The 53, it's giving me an angle. Oh, it's giving you an angle, you mean? Yeah. All right, well. <clears throat> will not give you an angle. Let me see. <clears throat> you just select a line, not a point. If you select yes. a point, it will give you an angle, okay? Select the line right here. It's called the line right here. And to, to the to the origin point, okay? Okay. I think it will show. 
the distance, not the angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now. All right, so this region. And for this this line right here, the top of the rectangle right here, see that? This line yeah. is the origin point, which is okay. 65. All right. Okay. Yeah. And now we just finished the dimension, all right? It's all the dimension we need to make. This one here is 31. It's, it's this length of the rectangle, or 31. And the radius of the arc is, is 12, right? And this line to the arc point is 8. And this line to the origin point is 15.3. Oh, shit. Yeah. I lost. I lost. <laughs> you lost the bottom rear. This 53, Lao Shi. Okay. I'm trying, but uh, it's not uh, making the dimension to that side. So you just press this smart dimension, okay? And select this line, this line. Not the point. So that you will show the point, the special point. Do not choose the special point. Just select the line, okay? Select the line. See that? And to the origin point right here. Origin point, see that? It will show the origin point. Yeah, now it's okay, Lashi. All right. If you didn't success, just try it again. All right, try it again. Okay. Try it again. Maybe something wrong. And just it doesn't matter. Just try it again. It's Fifteen three. Okay. And okay, for this line right here, um, which is to the to the origin, is I think it's down. Good. Yes. All right. Um. So and make another center line. See that? Make another center line right here. It's a center line, okay? From the origin point, from the origin point, okay? Mm. To make it, to make sure it's horizontal, okay? Make sure it's horizontal and press ESC to end this center line sketch. Okay, good? Good. Okay, now you can end sketch. So that's what we got right here, okay? So we need to select this uh, sketch two, all right? Select this sketch two and use a feature right here to make it revolve, right? It is revolve. And axis of the revolution is this line. This last center line we built, all right? This line right here. So now we got the outer ring. But we want just, we just want to fill it. Line, okay, we just make those fill it down. Uh, so, sorry, Lashi, can we come again? Yes. Revolt from what? From from the, the revolt. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Just select the sketch we draw, right? And use the revolt. Okay. Okay. And the axis of the revolution is this line. This this is the center line we have drawn. The the last okay. center line we draw. Okay, not this one. Okay, not this one. Of this one. Yeah, yeah, this. this I agree, one. I agree. Okay, good. And now we just make a fillet on it. Okay, make a fillet. Fillet. And fill it to this face. This bigger outer face right here. This face. Just choose this face, okay? Do not choose yes. this other thing. Just choose this face. And the, uh, the radius of the fillet. It's two, okay. It's two. It's two millimeter, okay. Yes. So we'll finish this thing, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we finish the first part, the outer ring, right? The outer ring we finish. So we we need to uh, just save this thing, okay? Save this thing. Just close and save all. See that? Save all right here. And we just save it right here, okay? This just gave me name that inner ring. Oh, because I already built this one, so I just in, uh just replace it, okay? So for you, you just give a name that the inner of uh, well, the inner ring. Sorry about it. it's the outer ring. It's the outer ring. Sorry about it. it's the outer ring, okay? 
Yeah. Just give it, just save this this part of work as the author. Okay. Yes. And here I got already got one, so it will uh, not give me to replace it for me. So okay, okay, let's replace. It. All right, the first one we have down, right? The outer ring yes. we have down. Mm -hmm. All right. When should we have a break? About now, right? Yes. Yes, okay, So now have a break. So yes. have you ever every? No so have you any of you have some problems about the to make the outer ring? No, mine is okay. No, mine is okay, okay. Laoshi. I'm good also. Good. Good, good, really good. I hope you yeah, guys yeah. can finish all the parts and finally you, you will see the assemble, assemble right? Yes, make it successful. We will. We will. Yeah, okay. we will. Yeah. So have a break right now. Okay. Have a Thank break. you, Lush.
All right, guys. Mm -hmm. I think it's about time to continue, okay? Yeah, sure, Lash. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we made the outer ring, right? So far. And now we can make the inner ring, okay? And let me show inner ring. Hello? Okay, we just finished the outer ring right here, the outer ring right here, like that. All right, so now we can make this inner ring. Yeah. Right here. And we need to make sure the dimension of it can match other parts. So everyone just follow me on the dimension and the shape we build. Okay, just get a new one right here, a new part. Okay. With the inner okay, ring. Okay. All right, one minute to remain. Okay, one minute. Wait for everyone can come to see what we can learn. Okay, one minute. All right, I think it's time to begin, okay? For the inner ring, uh, we choose the, the front, the front surface, the front view, okay? The front view, we just go to the front view. And make a sketch. The sketch on the front view, all right? And we use the center line right here, it's the center line. So yeah, second one, center line. To build the center line based on the origin, okay? Based on the origin. To make sure it's based on the origin, okay? So that's the origin point we will show. The center line, okay? And one center line right here, which is horizontal, okay? To make sure it's horizontal. All right, it's already horizontal, so you don't need to define it. So if you build the center line, which is not horizontal, okay, from the origin, which is not horizontal, just like this. All right, you just select the center line and add a relation, make it horizontal. See that? Yeah. Okay. And we make another center line, okay? Another center line. The same based on the origin, okay? Right here. And just make it, we should make it not, oh, no, 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 no. For this one here is, it's vertical. Sorry about it. it's vertical, right? And for this one here, for this one here, which is horizontal, all right? This one here is vertical. Good. Good? Yeah. Okay. She... Yeah? Yes. All right. So you just put a, make a center rectangle, all right? Center rectangle. Based on this point of this vertical line, see that, this point of this vertical line, right here, just put a center rectangle. And click close dialogue, okay? And the same, <clears throat> we make a three point arc, all right? Three point arc. This time we just make a spray point arc at this line right here, the top line of the rectangle. Okay. The first point we're gonna put on the this point, this top line right here. All right. And the second second point we just gonna put at this and right here. It's left of the center line right here uh, on the top line of the rectangle. Okay. And to make it like this, in this way, in this way, okay? Do not make, if you appear the appear the line, see that, it's appear to a line, 
to 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 relate it to the to the arc point. It will not uh, it will be over defined. Okay, so just select it as a normal place at a normal place. Okay, like this. And now we just make this point, select this point, all right, and as at the same same before, okay, uh, and hold your control button on the keyboard, and select this center line, all right, to coincident, yeah, coincident, makes them coincident, so it will make sure that this arc is symmetry by this center line. Right and close that. Up. Oh. Good. Yes, no shame. Yeah, I'm good. Quite easy, huh? And use the trim entirety to cut this line in the middle. See that? Good. Yeah. Okay. And we just make the smart dimension right here. Okay, this dimension. All right, folks, folks. This one here is for the arc. The so arc's dimension is the radio is twelve, right? Same as the same we made before, right? Twelve. And this line here, this line, the the top line of the of the rectangle. This line here, two, uh. To the to the point of the arc, see that to the point of arc, the distance is eight. All right, this line to the to the point of the arc, the distance is eight. Okay. Yes. And for this lines of the of the rectangle, is thirty one. <coughs> And for this line right here, the bottom line of the rectangle to the origin, the origin. If you don't see the origin, just zoom it, right? Zoom it. And to the origin, distance is 25. Okay. And for this line right here, this top line of the rectangle to the origin, point is 37. All right, I will wait for you guys to finish the math dimension. The first one, the radius of the arc is 12, all right? And for this line at the top of the rectangle to the, to the point of the, to the center point of the arc, is eight and for this one the length of the rectangle is 31 all right and for this line on the bottom of the rectangle to the origin is 25 and this line uh the top of the the top line of the rectangle is the origin distance is 33 it's a 37 okay good well, okay. yes no, she, good. all right all them Okay, and and a sketch. So that's what we got, right? We just select this sketch we have built, right? Select this sketch we have built, and use the revolve, right? Same thing, revolve. And the axis of the revolution is this line right here, this horizontal line, okay? Right here. Wow. So we got the inner inner ring. See that? Good? Yes, no, she. Great. And we just make a fillet on it, okay? Fillet on it. Uh, for, this, for this surface, the inside surface, to make this fillet, all right? And the dimension of flat will be two. Two. Same as the outer ring, right?
down, guys. Have you guys down this work? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right, no problems? Me not. Okay, I think all of you guys have to got the got the main point of the sketch. I think it's good. Okay, and we save the same. Okay, save the same. Save all. And <clears throat> you make it uh, get a name, the inner ring. Okay, you make it as the inner ring. All right. Name of this kind of work is inner ring. Uh, I already get a bunch, so just replace it. Down, guys? Yeah. No. Right. No? Yeah, we're done. Okay, good. So now we got to draw the, let me see. So for now, we can to draw to the bows, all right? Bows. The bow is very, it's quite simple for us to draw because we have learned how to draw a bow, right? How to draw a bow, let me see. Let's build a new sketch, all right? Build a new path right here. Build a new path right here. And we choose the front view, the front view, okay? Front view to draw a mm -hmm. bow. Make a sketch on it, okay? Make a circle. And which is based on the origin point, right? Based on the origin point. And make a circle on it. And now we get a dimension to this circle. Dimension is 24, all right? 24. Good. Yep. And we make a line, okay? Mm -hmm. We just make a line. Use this line to make it half of the, the, the circle. See that? It will show the half point, the middle point of the circle. Let's choose this point and to this point. Make sure they are horizontal, okay? It's nice horizontal and to make it, to make it to this point right here. So that it will show the point right here, this point. And to this point. Make it half. Okay? Yeah. And use the trim and tidy to cut this part right here. So we got half the circle. Good? Yeah. It's quite easy, I think. And in yeah. a sketch, and for this sketch, we select the sketch right here. And in the feature, we use the revolve, okay? Just revolve, it's quite easy to revolve. And revolve axis, axis of the revolution is this line right here, all right? Yeah. We can both. Okay? Yes. Yes, nice. All right, good. So all I've got now. How much is this uh, revolve? Yeah. Uh, yeah, can I okay, come again? I'll show you again, okay? To select this sketch right here and select, select use the revolve both, okay? Revolve both. And this axis of the revolution is this line, this line, okay? Oh, I get you. Okay. Okay. All right. And for now, you just save this both, okay? Save this thing. Save this as the bow, okay? Give it a name, this bow, okay. All right, so we're finished with bow. So what are we gonna do for the next? Let me see. We want to build this bow rack, right? The bow rack to, to lock the bow position, right? Make sure the bow is yeah, it's between this outer ring and the inner ring. So we need to build this bow rack right here. The bow rack is quite, uh, it's a little bit difficult. So I want you guys to really focus on what I did, all right? Because the part, 
the new path. In the front view, there in the front view, we normal to it, and we make a sketch. Okay, in the front view. Yeah, and we use the circle, right? The circle. We draw the circle based on the origin, right? Based on the origin, picture it on the origin, okay? And draw the circle, right? And make the dimension of the circle, which is 86, right? The first circle is 86 dimension. Good? Yeah. And the second circle, okay? The same origin. Okay, same origin, based on the origin, okay? And second one, the dimension is 94. All right, 94 for the second one. Good, just do a two circle. Uh, the circle, the, the central point of the circle is the origin, okay? All right, they have the same point. Center point and in a sketch. All right, so we got a ring like this. Good. Yep. And select the sketch right here and say, and just use the extruded both. Not this time, it's not the revolution, it's just the extruded both. Okay. Yeah. Just for the extruded both. Extruded, the thickness is, clear, is 20. Okay, it's 20. Of this ring. Good. Yeah. It's quite easy so far, I think. All right. Yeah. And for now, you just see that it's a, a thing, a surface right here. See that? You just choose this surface, this surface. Okay. Don't choose another. Choose, choose this one and this one. Okay. Just choose this first surface mm -hmm. right here. And just normal to it, okay? Normal to it, right here. You just right click on your on your mouse, and here is normal to it. All right, it's normal to it. Mm -hmm. And then make a sketch on it. All right, just click sketch, and here is sketch. Just start sketch. And for now, I want to do the center line for this one. Okay, do the center line. Here is the center line right here. And this center line is from this origin, okay? From this origin. That's why I want you guys to build this circle on the origin, okay? This center line is on the origin. And the first line, I want you to you make it horizontal to the inner circle right here, to the inner circle. See that? Here, can show the point, the inner circle. And it, this draw will not stop. And you can just put another center line from this point to, oh, sorry, it will become, become an arc. So just press ESC, okay? Just build this line, this center line from the origin to the inner circle. Have you guys done it? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay, press ESC and end the sketch of the uh, center line, okay? And build another center line right here, okay? Build another center line, center line right here, okay? From this point, from the inner circle right here, right? Which is close to the center line, this point. To the mm -hmm. outer circle right here. Do that and press ESC. Turn keyboard. Good? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so now you just make a circle, make a little circle right here. That choose a circle, and if you move your mouse to the to the line to the center to the middle of the line, it will show the middle point, right? It will yep. show the middle point of this line. Yes. And this, this circle is based on the middle point of the line. Just make a circle. Okay. Okay, yes. And make a smart dimension for this circle right here. Okay, smart dimension for it. 
uh, the dimension is, let me see. Uh, do, 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 do. 24, yeah. Sorry about that, I forget. It's 24. Dimension of the circle is 24. And click OK, right? Yeah. yeah. And when we make another line to make this circle, mm -hmm. right? Make a line, make the circle, become half of a circle, okay? The same as the uh, last step we have to Right here, which is a middle point of a circle, and right here, which is not a middle point, right here, okay? To make it half, okay? Dream in time. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll wait for guys to do this. Yeah, we don't know. Okay, to make it this line, use this line to cut this circle, right? And mm -hmm. use the dream in time to cut this part. So we got a half of a circle. Right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and now we end sketch. All right, that's what we want. It's, it's half a circle, okay? And for this sketch right here, we just select the sketch we have built, the half a circle right here, and choose the feature. And use the revolve cut, revolve cut, okay? Use the revolve cut right here. And the axis of the revolution is this line. So just cut a bow from the space, okay? Uh, yeah, from shape. So that's what we got. See that? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Good. And now we use the fillet, okay? Use yeah. the fillet. And for this line right here, this Cut, uh, this cut cross section of this uh, this this little line right here. See that this little line right here. Yeah. And for this one, the same. This little line right here. Just make it the fillet parameter, which is let me see, uh, three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now we can fill it. Fillet. Oh, sorry about it. it's a fillet. And now let me check. Mm -hmm. All right. So now you got one. You got one circle cut right here, right? Oh, yeah. So now we need to we need to use the circular pattern. So that yeah. it's right. It's a line and pattern, and it's fine. It's a triangle right here. So you can choose the circular pattern right here. So that. Oh, yeah. And the feature. We need to pattern, which is this circle cut, this bow, this bow cut right here. Just choose this face. All right, we will show the cut revolve, right? And for this fillet right here, let's choose this fillet right here. All right, so it's two features we want to pattern, right? The first one is revolve, let's choose this face, and another one is the fillet. Okay? Yeah. Yes. And for this direction right here, we just choose uh, <coughs> the rain surface, this big surface right here. All right. Yes. Yeah. It will show it will show the paths. And uh, the number of the pat pattern is eight. Okay. And make sure it's an eco spacing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Select this eco spacing. And the number of the, the instance. Mm -hmm. Instances is eight. Okay. Yeah. So we got eight parts right here. That. No, she, yeah. The, you said the instances are eight. Yeah. The instance okay. is eight. All right. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. I will wait guys to finish this. Good. Yeah. Yeah, Lao Xi. All right. So now we need to uh make the share. It's a share yeah, function. Right? Do it again, please. Do it again. I mean, do it again. Yeah. Okay, I will do it again. Just delete this thing right here. Uh, have you done the fillet? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So uh, here's the line and pattern. See it right here, and here's a triangle. 
found it. And you can choose a cir circular pattern. See that? Uh -huh. All right. And the feature and the feature we want to choose is for this surface right here. It's the revolve top, right? Do you remember? Okay. okay. And the, the second one is a fillet. Yeah, fillet, right? Uh... Feature fillet. Okay. And it's the direction right here, direction right here, we want to choose. Just press the direction right here, okay? Mm -hmm. And choose this surface, the off surface right here. See that? Okay, okay. I get it. And okay. now, Thank you. Yeah, and, and you just choose the equal spacing, right? And the, <laughs> the number of the instances is eight. Oh, yeah, I get it, Lush. Thank you. Okay, good. And now we just use the shell, okay? We just, we just use a shell. The, sh the thickness of the shell we, we choose is 1.5, okay? 1.5 millimeter, 1.5, okay? And that's a face to remove, to remove. Right here, we just choose this face, this outer face, I'm okay? Blushing. Yeah. Blushing. Uh... Is that shell and then the diameter is with one? Okay, 1. 1.5. All right, thank you. Yes. Sorry. Parameter right. is 1. Point, the thickness is 1.5. Okay. 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 And we just choose the choose this face, this face, this outer face right here. Okay. All right. All right. And this face, this inner face right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And another one is this face, this circle face, this ring face right here. Okay. Okay, not oh. this one, not this one, the other oh. one, okay? Yes. So now, and yeah. click OK, because we would cut. We got a bow rack right here. See that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Good. And we make some holes on the bow rack to make sure to we can use the, the, the revet, yeah. right, to, to, to lock the two bow rack. So we look at this face right here. Uh, it has eight, eight rectangle face, like rectangle. This is not rectangle, okay? Eight face right here. See that? We just choose one of it. One of it, okay? Yes. yes. And no more to it. No more to it. And we make a sketch on it, all right? Yeah. Make a sketch on it. And start a sketch. Good. This face, okay. this surface, all right? And we use the center line right here. Oh, I line. messed up. Okay, I messed up. You missed? Okay. <laughs> we just select this face. See that? This face right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And normal to it, okay? Normal to it. Normal to it. And make a sketch. The sketch on it. Okay. All right. Yeah. And we use the center line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, center line right here. And you move to this line right here. You will show the middle middle point of the line. Okay. Yeah. And choose the middle point to the another middle point of this line. Okay. And press yeah. ESC. So you got a center line for this. For this surface right here, okay? Yeah. And use the circle right here, circle to make a circle, which is based on the middle point of this center line. See that? It will show the middle point. See that? Make a big circle, okay? Do not choose this, do not uh, touch the other lines, okay? Just make a normal circle, okay? Okay. And dimension of a circle, which is, let me see, which is two, okay? Dimension of a circle is two. Good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, end a sketch, okay? End a sketch. And choose this sketch right here. We just build the circle sketch right here, okay? And to make a Extruded cut. You can extrude it cut. To make a hole. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this one right here, I want to do through all. 
right? To make sure it's through all the space, all right? All the, all the shape. See that? Yeah. yeah. It's got color on it, okay? Yeah. And for this one here, um, I want to use the circular pattern again, okay? Use a circular yeah. pattern again right here in the feature, okay? It's a circular pattern right here. And the feature I want to use, so pattern is this hole, okay? It's, yeah. Just choose this hole right here, okay? Yeah. And the direction, which is, which mm -hmm. has to choose this surface. This surface, see that, this surface. Good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the number of the instance is eight. And the equal space, okay? Yeah. So we got eight holes for for different uh for different place. We want which where we want to make the to lock the revet. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Good. So now we done this work. We done the bow wrap thing. It's quite difficult. I hope you guys follow me every step. Didn't miss every step, okay? Yeah. So we just save this. Services as the bow rack. Okay, the name is bow rack. And now the final one. The final one is the revet. All right. The revet is to to lock the the bow rack. Right. We just put the revet. Make a new part. Okay, new part. For this one here, I want to build on the upper view, okay? Build on the upper view. I do wait for you guys. You open a new part. Good? Yeah. And normal to the upper view, okay? Normal to the upper view. And make a sketch on it, okay? Make a sketch on it. <laughs> For this one here, I want to make use a line. Use the line, not a center line, okay? Use the line. For this line right here, I want to see that if you just close to the close to the origin point, origin. let's show the this line right here. See that to make sure it will close <laughs> to the origin point, okay? Yes. And press ESC, okay? And just select this line and click the right button. So that click the right button. It will show select the middle point. So that select the middle point. And you've got a middle point of this line. Okay? Lashi, please again. Okay, do it again. You just select this line and press your right button. Okay? Right yeah, button. Yeah. Mm. We should select middle point. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So here's the middle point, right? Yeah. Mm. And hold your control button and select the origin point. Here's the origin point. See that? It will become orange. orange. Yes. So you got two points, right? So you have mm. already stacked two points to make it, to make them constant. Okay, so now this the origin point, uh, which is at the middle of this line, right? Yes. Because the middle point of this line, which is coincident with the origin point, right? Yes. Huh? But I go to point. Uh -huh. Coincidence. Good coincidence. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you, okay, I'll do it again, okay? Just <laughs> use this line, which is horizontal to the, to the, based on the origin point, but not from the origin point, okay? Mm -hmm. So from the, this line right here, and build a horizontal, uh, build a vertical line right here, okay? And you right click on it, right click on this line, okay? And select the middle point. So we okay, show the middle point mm -hmm. of this line and hold your control button on your keyboard. 
to select the origin point. Okay, so you select two points uh -huh. right now and add the relations between them, which is the cause of it. Okay, yeah. So now the middle point of the ring of the line, which is as the origin point, right? <clears throat> so now we just want to make an arc, okay? Use the three point arc right here. From this point, from the top point of this line, okay? Just build a long arc. The first point, just put it on right here. I think it's okay. And just, just mm -hmm. to control is control control the shape of it. It's okay for for you. Do not uh if it is show the two lines right here. See that is show it show the two lines of it. Don't select it. Okay, just put it at a normal place. All right. Mm -hmm. And use the line right here from the arco point, from the arco line right here, from this point, okay? To make a horizontal, to make a horizontal line, okay? Right here and continue to the vertical, mm -hmm. to the vertical one, okay? Like this. And make another horizontal one <coughs> right here, okay? You can just make it longer and you can just fix it later, okay? Get longer and press ESC to end sketch, all right? And now we just use the arc point again, okay? The three point arc right here again. To make this, to select this point right here, okay? Select this point and to this point. Just make some, uh, make some expectation, okay? Position of it. Don't choose this position. Don't choose the position when they show two, when you show two line. Okay. Just, just a normal position, okay? Like this. Down? Have guys down? Down this? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. And just add some relationship between them, okay? For so this point right here, okay, select this point right here. And hold your control button, okay, on the keyboard. And select this point right here. Lashi, please wait. The, the point on top. Pardon me, please? Please, the selection again, sorry. Okay, select, select this point. The arco okay. right here, this point, okay? This point yeah. right here. And hold your control button. And okay. select this point. So you, you select two points right here, right? right now. Yeah. And you can add the relation to make mm -hmm. them vertical, okay? Oh, okay? It become like this, but it's okay, okay? It's okay. Uh, you just pull this line. Just hold your left button, then pull this line to this to here, okay? It was, it was like this, and yeah. pull this line right here, okay? All right. And now you just choose this arc right here. Mm -hmm. Choose this arc right here and hold your control button to choose this arc too. All right. So now you choose two yeah. arcs right here. See that? Yeah. And add some relation. Make them equal. Okay. Make them equal. Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. And close that up. Okay. But now she didn't look equal. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. Equal, did it show? It showed. I mean, they don't look equal after. Uh, they don't look like equal. Yeah. Like it's equal. Because, uh, it's equal in the in some way, right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's look like, <laughs> it don't mm -hmm. look like equal because other relations didn't didn't mm -hmm. fix. Okay. Yes, we need yes. to fix some more relation between them. Okay. That's right. And select this this line right here. This line right here. See that. Right click on it, all right. Right click on it and select the middle point. Okay, it will show the middle point right here. See that middle point right here, and hold your control button on your keyboard. Okay, yeah. and 
select the origin point right here, the origin point, which is the origin point right here, there. Mm. And now make says two point exam horizontal. Yeah, see, it looks equal now. Yeah, this looks equal now, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, now I uh, think I messed we... up loss here. I messed up this part. <laughs> okay, well, we just missed. Where you just missed? Yeah, From here. The last part. Last part. All right. Okay, I just make it again. Okay, this point. No, and... not, not this one. Okay, okay. this point and this point makes them vertical. All right. And this arc and this arc makes them equal. Okay. Mm. And this line right here, just right click on this line. Okay, right click on it. This line, this line, right click. And select middle point. It will show the middle point right here. See that? And hold your control button to select this origin point right here. So now you set two points, right? To make them horizontal. Good? Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, good. So now you just make some dim dimension line, okay? Use the smart dimension right here. And let me see. This line right here, so the distance and the thickness of this line, the length of this mm -hmm. line is 0 0.5, okay? This line, 0 0.5, good. And the distance between this line to this line, which is one, okay? Good. Um, well, she, the first one is the point and the line, yeah? Uh, yeah. No, so first line, the first one is, the first one is just this line, okay? Oh, really? Just this line right here. Okay. Just All this right. line right here, which is 0 0.5, okay? And the second okay. one is this line to this line right here, which is one, all right? Okay. And for the length of this line, the right one, the right, right line right here, okay? Which is three. All right, three. Yeah. And this one, this line right here, the length is five. So now we got, we got like this. I will let, I will wait for you guys to finish the dimension, okay? The first yeah. one, yeah. the first one, this, yeah. this small line right here is 0 0.5. And the second one, uh, for this line to this line right here, the distance is one, one. okay? This line to this one. And uh, and this line, the length of this line is mm -hmm. three, okay? The length of this line is three. Length of this one is five, okay? <laughs> Good? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. and, and a sketch, okay? And sketch. And now use a feature to revolve, okay? To revolve both feature. Just, just select this sketch you built and use the revolve. Oh, sorry. So just select the sketch mm -hmm. and just use the revolve, okay? The mm -hmm. axis of the revolution is this one. That you gotta revert now. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. The line, the line you choose is this line, okay? This line. Okay? Yeah. Good? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So close it and then save it. Save it as the revamp, okay? The revamp, okay? And now <laughs> we just finished all parts, right? Have you guys finished all the parts we built? Yeah. And you guys need to save it, save it, all right? Have you guys save it, save it all, all of them, the five parts? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, 
come to this uh, important mm -hmm. part right here. We use the assembly. See that? We choose the assembly right here. And click OK to start assemble. OK? Mm -hmm. It will appear the, the work you just, you just built. And choose the work you have built. OK? Choose the work you have built. The first one, you choose the uh, outer ring. OK? Let's mm -hmm. choose the outer ring like this. You have built. Now she mine has all the files there inside already. Uh huh. Yeah, mine they already so like everything selected already. No, no, like, no. You just select one point. thing one time. By one no. time. I mean, when I click assembly, the the software selected all the files already inside the open document. Should I delete them? Yeah, uh, everything was there already. Uh, it's okay. I think it's okay. Yeah. All right. You can you can just select everything. It's okay. But uh, for me, I I don't re recommend that select everything in one oh. time because it may maybe uh miss some parts. All right. Yeah, maybe yeah. sometimes we will miss some parts. So for me, I just select one thing by one in one time. The first oh. one is the outer ring. Okay. Okay. And now you just choose the assemble right here. See that the assemble right here. Oh. And inset insert the component, the components right here, all right? It will show again. And select the inner ring right here. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute, okay? The inner ring huh? right here, okay? No, my insert and then nothing is coming, was she? I just wait for one second. It will show, I think. She, please. Actually, we didn't draw the inner ring, did we? The second one. Insert yeah. component and after that. Yeah. Did we draw the inner ring? Yeah, of course we draw the inner inner ring. Yeah, we draw. It's the second yeah. one we draw. Maybe maybe you just put the wrong name for it. Okay. So you uh, have you sorry. got five parts? Have you got five parts? I have only four. You think she got only four? <laughs> <laughs> So I, why I, I missed when, when one the, I, I went to make some tea. When I came back, the break was already over. I, you were already drawing the other one. So I think you have already done it, but you maybe you just save it at the wrong place. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At the wrong place. <laughs> and Laoshi, when I insert my outer ring and inner ring, my outer ring is smaller and inner ring is so big. Of course. Uh, maybe you just make the wrong name for it. The outer ring is bigger, okay, and the inner ring is smaller. All right. Lava inbox. Okay. Just change what the name. Can you okay. come again, please? Okay, yeah, come again. Okay. Just delete this and delete this. All right. Here to assemble, right? And insert the components right here. See that? Insert components. And make sure, make sure. For now, it have it's empty right here. It's nothing right here. Okay, make sure it's empty right here. And insert component. The first one I want to I want to just make the inner the outer ring. Okay, the outer ring right here. But for for that guys, you just make a wrong name. Just get an inner ring. Okay, okay. That's lost. And for another one, it's the inner ring. All right, right here. <clears throat> Just put beside of it, okay? Put it beside, put it beside of it, all right? And the third one, third one is a bow, okay? The bow right here, just beside it. And see that, and insert the component. <coughs> and the first one is bow red. Maybe it takes some time to load it, okay? It shows. Correct. See that the first one is correct, and the fifth one is the revert, the revet. The revet is quite small. Okay. Revet is quite small. Okay. So now you got five parts, right? The first one, uh, the outer ring and the inner ring, and a bow and a bow red, and here is the revet. Good. 
guys. And we got the five pass right here. Nope. Give some, give me some response. Actually, yeah, me, I have all the parts except the inner ring. I think yeah, I actually, play. we got. Right. Uh, I can insert Lausi all the parts. You can insert. Yeah. Oh, I, I really don't know why. You can just delete this thing, okay? Just do all. Delete this thing. And see that? Here is assembly. Assembly. See that? Here is assembly. Okay, so I just make a new one right here. Okay, don't say. And we just make a new new document right here. You need to select this assembly right here, not the part. Okay, not the part. Select assembly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now it will show the work you have done. Maybe you just close it and and from from here. Okay. We just use the insert component right here. That the insert component right here, and you just show the it will just show the tool that you have made to save your to save the parts you have designed, right? And double click on the outer ring. Okay, it will show the outer ring. Did it show? Yeah. Okay, and click the insert component again, right? And select the inner ring right here. All right, for this, for that one, who didn't, who missed the inner ring, it's okay for now. Okay, just watch the watch, watch me to do. Okay, and yeah, I got it, Lars. I got it. Okay, maybe you just find find your inner ring in the in the fort. All right. Yeah, but when I'm inserting inner ring, Bradley, it, check it out. It's bigger than my outer ring. All right, I said that you just make a wrong name of the field. All right, it's okay. Okay, all right. Just got two parts, right? You got two parts right here. It's a big one and a small one. Okay. All right. And you just insert the third one, all right? The, the bow rack right here. Bow rack. It doesn't matter the bow rack or the bow, okay? And the first one, the bow right here, okay? Oh, where's the bow? Just beside them, make them close, okay? Near to. Awesome. Others, all right, and the final one is re the revac. Okay, very sure. The revac is quite small, all right. So, yeah. so just put it right here, okay. Yeah. So now we got to make the symbol, all right. Yes. It doesn't matter the name of the the name of the different parts. I will show you. For this part, for this one here, okay, the smaller, smaller ring. So that smaller ring right here, okay. You just first click on the mat, okay. Click on the mat right here. It's a mat, and select the smaller. Just wait for a minute, okay. Yeah. Mm, select the smaller ring right here, okay. This surface, this surface, okay. So okay, this surface right here. See that this surface. Yeah. See this surface. Okay, yeah. and this surface. This bigger one surface. It's the inner surface right here. This one. Okay, right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it will come to. It will come to the bigger one. All right, and then we <coughs> select this surface right here. This surface, see that this surface right here, and we choose this surface right here. Good. To make sure, so now they've got to be in the same certain line at a certain certain point. They are concentric right now. See that they'll be concentric right now. Good. I will do it again. Okay. I will do it again. Mm. Let me do it again. All right. All right. Just click on the mat. All right. 
And first, you select this surface of this little ring, okay, smaller ring. And then you choose this surface right here for the bigger ring right here, the inside of the bigger ring for this surface, not this one, okay, for this surface. You make them con uh, con concentric, right? Now they are concentric. But if they are in the different plane, plane, right? So I want to make them in the same plane. So I choose this surface right here. This surface right here, okay? And this surface of the bigger one. So now they are in the same plane, see that? And which is concentric. Right? Good? Everyone? Yeah, Lao Shi, mine is not going in. Inside is not going. Not going in. Ah. Okay. Maybe some. Maybe you just choose a, a, a wrong place, I think. Let me show you again, okay? Just put it right here. And first, man. Found out, Lao Thanks. Right. Okay. Don't do not choose any surface of it. Okay. For now, you just now for now you just click on the map, and you choose this sur <coughs> this surface of the little ring. Select this surface. This surface here. Okay. Of the little ring. So you see here we got the face one in the inner ring, right? And now we choose another surface. Here's another one, okay? This one right here for the big, a bigger one. It will come. It will make them concentrate, right? So now they are concentrate right now. Good. And now we just want this circle, this ring right here, to go inside of this bigger one, right? So we choose this surface right here. And cool. this surface right here, see that? It will come in. It will go inside of this ring, the big one. Because we just make a relationship that this surface is, uh, which is at the same plane of this surface. Good? Yes, Lao uh, Okay, that's good. And for this one here, I want to make this bow, right? This bow. To inside this, to the inside between the outer ring and the, the inner ring. So I pull this bow and pull this bow inside of it. See that? But now it's not perfectly matched. All right? So now, first, you need to put it inside, okay? Inside of the of two rings, between two rings. And now you just click, click the mat first, okay? Click the mat right here. And the mat selection should be this bowl surface to, to this this surface right here, the outer ring surface. Sorry, Lush, please, how did you how did you get it inside? How did you get the ball inside? Oh, just hold your left button and pull it in, inside. It's quite easy. Um, is it? <laughs> it looks like it's not entering. You know, it looks like it's just on the surface or something. All right, you just you can just use your middle button to. Control the uh, the revolve, okay. You control the view, okay. So it will oh, be, okay. be, become easier to yeah, hold this, yeah, yeah. okay, inside yeah. between two of them, okay. Yeah, and now use the don't select anything, okay. Don't select anything. And now use a mat right here. That select now you select the bow surface, okay. Yeah. And select this in the outer ring. But in the inner surface right here, mm. the inner surface, not this one, okay, not this one, just this one, okay, right here. So it will be tangent, okay, yes, right sir. now. And to make sure it will be tangent, then you can just select this circle right here and with this surface right here, the inner, the inner ring, okay, yes, to make them tangent too, okay. So now it's make sure the tangent right now. Oh, yeah. it's not good. I think it's 
from. I think one tangent is 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 good is enough. Okay, so do to do not build another tangent. Okay, it will be maybe overdefined. All right, so one yeah. tangent is enough. Okay, okay, right here. So now we want to make the the bow rack right here. Oh, the time the time is is over. Mm -hmm. Cast it over, but I just want to finish this thing. Okay. okay. All right, I will finish this thing in with some time, okay? And for this one here, I just want to make a new mate, a new mate right here to select this fan surface, the bow rack surface, that, yeah. and which is, and with this bow surface right here, to make them uh, concentrate, right? And now the, the bow rack is concentrated with the bow, right? Good. Yeah, logic. Yeah. Okay. I I, I think uh I, I select the ball first, right? Because I selected yeah. the rock first and the ball went to the rock. Still it went to the rock. The, the ball is ball went to went the rock. Yes. That, that is because of, you you didn't you didn't make it a bow relation relationship. All right. <laughs> so so if you bow the bow up is moved to the to the arc, that means which means the the tangent that you have built is not successfully. Okay, Alright, so I will do the tangent. I will do the tangent first, okay? okay to make right. this bow, to make this bow. Alright, to make this bow inside of the of them, okay, inside of the ring. Yes. And use the mate. Stack this bow to and with this surface right here, okay? The outer outer ring yeah. and this surface right here to make them tangent. Okay? Okay. And, yes. And now I think the bow will not go outside, all right? Yes. And now you just choose the mate, okay? And choose yes. this surface right here, this surface right here of the mate, and choose the bow. That now you come to the bow, I think. Actually, the inner surface of the of the yes, yes, uh, yes, 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 of this surface, so that yeah, this surface, okay, yeah. good. And all right, click OK, all right. And we just made another mate. Of course, you can you can just don't click OK when you finish the mat, then you can go continue for this, okay. Yeah. And for this one here, I want to make the make the bow rack, which is uh concentrate mm. with the outer ring. So what are we gonna do? We choose this surface right here, this surface of the bow rack, this surface, okay? This okay. one. And choose this outer ring surface back here, this one here. Okay. Oh no, it's making them tension. Sorry about it. Just uh, just revise it, okay? Just revise it. Not this one. Okay. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> All right. First, we need to choose this surface, right? Sorry about it. We need to choose this surface. This small rectangle surface right here, okay? Small rectangle surface. Yes. And with this surface right here. That will go into this way. The bow wrap will go into this way. Uh, actually, hold on a second. All right. Again, again. Actually, yeah. All right. So now, so so you got the the bow wrap, which is uh, which is had a concentrate of this this bow, yes. right? Yes. And now you just want to make this this surface. This first yeah. surface right here, okay? Mm. Which is with this with this surface right here. All right. Actually, the second surface is not selected. Second surface is not selected. Mm. Which which one? I mean. Okay, let me cancel and then start another meet, right, Tashi? 
Yeah. All right. Okay. This surface right here, okay? I should say surface right here. And this outer, this outer ring surface right here, this surface, okay? Yeah. Right? Okay. Now, it's coming in this way, right? Yes, yes. And now we just want to make this, this, uh, the bow rack, which is concentrate with the outer ring. So I choose this surface right here. See that? This surface right here. And yeah. this outer surface here. Okay. So now ah. it's concentrate. Yes. That? Yes. Good. And we just want this little rivet. All right, this little yes. rivet, this surface right here, and which is just lock it uh, in the, on the hole of the bow rack, okay? And choose this surface right here. That we come to, we come to uh, concent, concentrate, right? With this hole. Um, okay, we, we drag it and make it concentric. Yeah, we just make this one. This surface right here, see that? this surface right here, and with this hole right here, the whole surface right here, see that? Okay. In my case, concentrate, all right? All right. But now it's, it's out of the hole, right? So I want yeah. to, I want this surface right here, this one, this surface right here, which is, which is, uh, Coincident with this surface. Yeah. So it will be blocked. But it's a half of the, it's another boric we need to build. Uh, actually, right? please, can, you, can you do the last step again? Okay. Which I want to see so the faces. Now, right? Yeah. For this surface right here, the reverse yeah. surface, this surface right here, uh, okay. which is coincident. Do this one. Yes. Okay. So now, see that? Let's pick something yes. on here. So yes. now we need to build, build another bow rack, right? Yeah. You build, build another bow rack. So here we got uh, the, <clears throat> the, the, comp, the pattern right here. The pattern in the assemble is quite easy. And yeah, we circular. just use the, use the mirror circular. component. Right here. See that? Okay. Middle component right here. And uh, we first choose right here. See that? Component to mirror. We just select this right here, this space right here, okay? And choose this go rack, all right? Yeah. And the mirror plan is, mirror plan is this surface. See that? This surface. Not, uh, not in this surface, okay? Not right here. It's the other side, all right? This surface right here. The other side? Yeah, the other side. See that? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From here, it's, uh, it's, it's come get a little bit longer. So for this side, okay? For this side. Yeah. Right here. So, just copy another one. Just copy another one. It's not a bow rack. And make them... Uh, mirror, just mirror and symmetry. See that? Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. So now I want another bows and another rivet, right? Mm. So we use the pattern again, all right? Mm. This time we use the circular pa circular. component pattern, all right? Okay. This time we use the circular, the circular pattern. And for the components to pattern here, I want to choose this bow, okay? Oh, and this revert, this rewind right here, okay? The revert right here, all right? Just two parts, two components, two patterns. See that? Uh, sure, don't I say, yeah? Uh, okay, I'll do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, it's okay for you. Mm -hmm. So component two pattern is this bow right here, okay? Yeah. And this rewind right here, all right? And the direction to, to make a circular pattern is, let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
direction. Yeah, for this surface, the outer ring surface. Okay. Yeah. Right oh no, I think it's not. It's not the outer ring surface. Sorry about that. Let's delete it. Let's delete it. Okay. Yeah. It should be uh this surface. No, <laughs> it's not right. Let me see. Surface should be not wrong. Oh yeah, this this big outer ring surface right here. Okay. This off surface right here. All right. So now it's got two, right? Yeah. So what we got is eight. Yes. So now we got eight, false and red, revive right here. Okay. Yeah. So we'll finish this. Okay. Yeah. Good. Have you guys found it? Yes. All right. It's a little bit difficult for you guys to uh to make the mat right here. All right. It's a lot of mat. But if you miss something or just have some problem about it, just watch the record and pay attention to it and and just notice the details. All right. And I think you can just do these things to make this assemble. All right, guys. I think today's class is over. Yes, right? yes, yes, yeah, yeah. All right. You. If you have some problems, just watch the record. All right. And for all this right. math here, it's a little bit difficult. It's a little bit complex. It's oh. not difficult. It's complex. Mm -hmm. All right. That's just true. pay some attention and and be patient of it. All right. To notice about yes, the much. details. All right. You just can. And so now you just have the bow, the bow bearing. Right. Okay. So for today's class, I think it's over. I I have you. I hope you guys and the homework is to fix this thing. If you didn't fix on the class, and the homework for you is just finish this thing. All right. If you just right, already finish this thing, thank so you. It's no homework yes, for you. Yes, All yes, right. Yes, just watch the yes, record yes. and finish this thing. Okay. Okay. And okay. so it's two classes remain. I think you guys. Took some remain and we'll be come to the final test. And okay, we will talk about it later. All right. Yes, right. Yeah. 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 yeah so send us the, the diameter the of two, this drawing. The next mm -hmm. two class, the next two classes, uh, you said we'll do C come or we are gonna still continue with assembly. No, so the so, so final exam will be at the last class, all right? We all mm, but final we'll exam. Remain. Yeah, it's a final exam at the the the, the last class. Actually, uh, we, we were told we were told it's gonna be assignment because they give us a timetable. And, and I mean I mean, so I mean it's it's not the exam right now, okay? So the exam will be at the la uh, next week. Uh, Thursday, right? Thursday yes, next week. Yes. I All mean, right. like, I wanted to ask the exam. Uh, they gave us a timetable, but your course was written for assignment, not exam. So I don't know. It's not also on the timetable for exam. Uh, uh I don't get your mean. We were given the the exam schedule, but the C A D C A M course is is assignment, not exam. So it's yeah. not on the time to. It's a, the exam is not that exam, all right. Just um, oh. like like you can make it like a uh exercise or practice something like that, oh, all right. Okay, okay. Just, no problem. I just want to for you guys to uh to test. Have you learned uh yeah, which, which level we have learned, learned, learned yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, Lao Shi. It's not a yeah. real exam, all right. So don't be nervous, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. yeah. I hope you guys can finish this after class, yes, all right? But Laoshi, yes, Laoshi. Laoshi, the the uh the, the diagram. You see yours when you when you are rotating the ball. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind you kind of see the uh eh? why is mine not open? Can you just revolve like this? <laughs> yes, but 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 like it, the color is, is not so nice. Okay, no problem. I I will continue. You mean the appearance, right? You mean the appearance, yeah, the appearance. Yeah. All right. I will talk about it 
Yeah, the last class, all right. The, the next class, okay. all right. <laughs> okay, that's uh, okay. You mean lunch. you want the parents like this? Uh, this what I use, right? Oh no 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 no! I mean, when when you are rotating the ball, yours looks like a solid ball. Mine looks like a drawing that's rotating. I don't know how to explain. Uh, uh let me see. Maybe it's one of the faces I should hide. I think maybe. Uh, you can choose the here like this, and you can just change this. This is play oh, yeah. style, I see. Yeah yeah okay. Uh, all right. Thank what you got to to do is at homework, all right? If you have done this, just yeah, okay. Them. And and please send us all the all the sketch file of this drawing. Uh, I mean the us. picture, the dimension of uh, the sketch. I mean. Yeah, dimension. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you can push the record, all right? <laughs> 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 uh, but, because the dimension is, um, I think the dimension are. Uh, Okay, I will. I will send the dimension. Okay, I will send it as um maybe as a group, as a group. Yes, the yeah, yeah. group. All right, but later. Okay, but later. Yes, All right. Okay, see you Thank guys. You That's see all. You. See you. All Bye. 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 No, if you don't, then I will be telling you.